Hey guys, Jeremy with Paragon Performance and we're here with new products January. First up we have our Paragon Performance C8 exhaust. This system is made in-house here, hand welded. We took a lot of time to design this and test this. Um, we tested it on our race car, we tested it on the street, we dyno tested it, and then we even made some more tweaks after that to end with this, this final result here. This is a long tube design, which is kind of different than what everybody else is doing. As you can see, it exits, comes down, and then flows upward and around through two mufflers, one on each side, and then it goes out to quad tips. And those quad tips, um, again, this is kind of something that differentiates us than a lot of systems on the market, especially in this price point, is we have a true three inch quad tip section. Some of the other brands that are out there, they'll come in at three inches, and then when they get to the tip section, they're gonna neck down to a, a two and a half and just slapping some cheesy quad tips on it. So we wanted to keep it at a, at a level that the C8 kind of deserves and we kept those quad tips there. This system here is, is a non-valve system. And what that means is if you had the performance exhaust, you your rear valves, you zip tie up, and we have a how-to video coming out on the, all this here. You zip tie those out of the way. And then we have the AFM uh, valve delete plate. And this plate allows you to take your AFM valves attach them to these plates, bolt them to the car as per our instruction manual. Something else to note on this system is we use V-bands everywhere. Uh, there's no slip fits. Everything is meant to fit correctly in one time. The X-pipe area where these two join together is another interesting piece. As you can see here, ours is super clean on the inside. We do uh, back purge welding on this, and as expected, top quality. If you look at some of our competitors, like this example here, which we won't name whose it is, the welds are, are thrown together quickly. As you can see from the inside, there really wasn't any care taken to it. Again, they're using a, a slip fit joint, which is fine. Um, it's just, you know, it's another corner they cut, and their price point is, is quite a bit more than ours so gives you a little bit of info there that the, the amount of care and quality that goes into ours versus some of the competitors so another really cool feature about our system is the uh, tip options so the tips on these are interchangeable and we have 11 different options of tips to choose from they uh, range in gloss carbon fiber outer, outer with some different colors in the inner like chrome blue red um, and then we also have the matte carbon fiber outers with the same colors. And then we have uh, some more of the traditional style, just straight chrome. Um, and then we have titanium burnt tip option. And uh, one that we weren't going to do, but when we tossed it on our white car, it looked really cool was the gold with chrome option. Uh, surprisingly, uh, really neat to see on the car. So check those out. Moving on. Right in line with the exhaust, we have our Paragon Performance Sport Cats. This is a 400 cell uh, G Sport Cat that we use. This is gonna enable you to get more sound. A little more flow out of your exhaust system. And it's also not gonna throw a check engine light because this is still uh, regulating emissions. Uh, these are again made in-house, um, CNC flange cut, three or four stainless, just like our exhaust, lifetime warranty, pretty easy to install. Uh, we have a video coming for this as well that will show you how to get these installed along with your exhaust. It comes with all hardware needed. We include new studs. We're not reusing the OEM ones that maybe have some fatigue with them or got damaged when you uh, took them out to install these. Gaskets are all included. And these are ready to go now. We have a few people out running them already and they've been really well received. They do increase sound of the exhaust system. Um, some people will just grab the cats themselves and run the stock exhaust, which we have here. <laughs> And others will put the cats in with an aftermarket cat back like we've done in this video. The amount of sound that is increased is going to be dependent upon you know everybody's personal opinion. For example, you know myself here, I enjoy the car with just the cat back. Um, while a couple of the other guys here enjoy the car with the cats and the cat back. Um, a good way to start is to grab yourself a cat back exhaust. See how you like the sound. If you're still looking for more sound, more of that V8 roar, 
grab yourself a set of sport cats that's going to be your next increase um, and it's also going to add more power as well so take a look at those moving on next up we have our paragon performance lowering springs we've been working on this a while now with hyperco they are in production we have a firm end of production date which is february 8th so those are on their way we'll be shipping out shortly after that uh, what we wanted to show here is the difference with the lowering springs and some of that stuff that's going on. So white car has our Paragon Performance front lift lowering collars on there. So you guys with front lift, you can lower your vehicle just the same amount as other Z51 cars that don't have front lift, which is three quarters of an inch, which Pat explained in that engineering video. And then we have our springs on there as well and some wheel spacers. So this is as low as you're going to be able to go out of the box with springs and a Z51 car or a front lift car. It looks great. Um, some people may find it's a little too low. Uh, and what we've developed for that is guys with front lift collars, you don't have an adjustment on the front of your car like Z other Z51 cars do. You don't have that coilover spring or perch. So we've developed a, a 3 8 shim that goes in our lowering collars, which will raise it up a little bit more. So if that's too much for you, we have an option to bring you up a little bit for the front lift guys. Um, if you do have a driveway hump or something that you're, you're wanting to make sure um, you're, you're gonna clear, even with your front lift, that's something you can do. Um, and anybody that's bought our front lift collars, that's gonna be something for free that they can request. And we'll send that out when you order springs um, to give you the option if you wanted to raise that back up. But um, together I like, the you know the z51 car all the way down or the front lift car all the way down and the springs added um, it gives a nice aggressive look very proper this car here also has wheel spacers on it and a track alignment uh, because we do track this car to test product and then your oem monster truck car is all ready for you to lower so check out the springs uh, they're really cool those are going to be out february 8th finally so everybody pre-ordered i appreciate you standing by while that was undergoing they'll be kicked out the door as soon as they're ready so next up we have our paragon performance front grill guards uh, radiator guards as some people may call them uh, there are a few solutions out there now um, some of them are a little lackluster some of them are a little overpriced uh, some of them require home depot zip ties things like that that uh, probably aren't appropriate for a corvette but everybody each their own so we took some time and we developed these grill guards um, these are engineered here we've 3d scanned the car we've done all of our typical homework that we do and we've come up with these nice grill guards several things to note about them is we use oem points that bolt in underneath your eyelids here so it makes the install oem like you come in from the underside your under tray comes off we have an install video coming as always and then you slide these up behind they bolt in three aim tape and they're secure we've track tested this car up to 170 on racetrack no deflection, no bending. Um, they're aluminum and CNC laser cut. We um, have had a lot of people pre-order these. We appreciate everybody that's been waiting. They're in production now. They're really cool. They're powder coated. Uh, one neat, nice feature about these that, again, a lot of them don't have is one, they don't cover the front of your grill. They are behind it, protecting your radiator. It allows your frunk button to still access. We've got that there for you. Everything's OEM. Um, install on this so you're not you're not having some sort of secondary zip tie holding things together and it's not in front of your grill blocking it so check them out uh, we'll have a bunch of information on our site and an install video soon since we're here at the front of the car a couple other items that we have that are new that are coming out uh, again they've been in development for a while we finally got some production samples in uh, and they are in production now we have our front lip down here this is an OEM replica made of carbon fiber. It's a very thin um, multi-layer carbon piece with a nice high gloss finish. Uh, we've paired it on our car with a bunch of carbon flash accessories. I know a lot of guys really like the carbon flash paint um, option, which does look nice. Um, but as you can see here from the distance that the camera is there, we've got a carbon flash uh, eyebrow, eyelid, and then we have our lip here. Um, you really can't, it, it blends so well with the car. Um, myself and a lot of other people around here like the carbon fiber look over the carbon flash so we're, we're pairing carbon fiber items with our car here so the front lip this is the rocker extensions it recreates that OEM rocker extension cover so to speak uh, and it again bolts in OEM like it's a replica of the OEM 
rocker extension. So really cool, simple items to add on, to class up the car a bit, get rid of, you know, um, if you have the OEM lip, like our gray car does there, uh, that black plastic that they come with is uh, a bit unsightly. So it's nice to get a nice carbon piece on there. So check them out. We're expecting these sometime the end of February uh, in decent quantities. So if you want to go ahead and get a set locked in, go and put pre-order. If you want to wait for them to get in stock, that's absolutely fine. That's what they're for. So check them out. We've got more pictures on our website. All right, next up, we got some wheels. This is for the first up on our wheels. Now, we did talk about BBS wheels a, what, two months ago now it's been, since I took December off. Um, since then, we have got the bronze BBSs in. Those are a really cool finish. Uh, they came in a couple days ago. A couple sets went out to some customers who waited. Thanks for waiting, guys. Uh, it is a matte finish, so it's not a, it's not a glossy bronze. It's going to be more of a darker matte bronze finish, which I think is the way to go. Um, especially on these cars. It's going to help with a little bit of brake dust, hiding that a little better. So those are now in stock. We have two sets left. Uh, grab them while you can because BBS is, has issues making them. So once I go out of stock, it's probably going to be a couple months before they come back in stock. The black ones now we talked about in December as well. And everybody, including myself, complained about the chrome lip around them. It's pretty hideous. And um, so to fix that, we've gone ahead and added a service that you can select now on. We have a black package only where we remove that chrome protector um, and then get that out of the way for you. It doesn't harm it in any way. You're simply removing that wheel protector, that BBS. They make that so you can remove it and replace it. So like, for example, this bronze one here, it's got a black one on it. That's so if you curb your wheel, it's not destroying the edge of it. Um, and they're replaceable. So if you do curb it, you can always order a new black one. Um, and that's why they come with the chrome. I have no idea why they made black wheels without black protectors. Um, and we do have the option to add the black protector if you'd like, but we also have that option now where it's now removed and you can just get the black wheel. And as long as you know how to drive a car, you probably won't curb it. So moving on. Next set of wheels we're moving on to is we've listed all the BC Forged monoblock wheels. Uh, these are available in tons of different designs on our website. Uh, as you can see here, as we scroll through, lots and lots of options. Now, all these options of wheel style are available in a slew of colors as well. So as you're scrolling through the website, checking out the BC Forged wheels and the pictures we have there, they're going to be a very plain color typically. But remember, though, if you wanted a red set or a gold set or a green set or a blue set, matte black, gloss black, those are all available options on these BC Forged wheels. Uh, these wheels are typically built to order. Uh, so you can pick your uh, rim size if you want 19s up front and 20s out back, or maybe you want 20s up front and 21s out back, and you want to go wider. Those are all things that can be done with these wheels uh, because they are built to order. Uh, another interesting thing about this is we do try to stock a couple sets in gloss black, like the KL ones, KL zero ones are in stock in a gloss black and an OEM size. So if you take the OEM size, for example, on that KL, KL01, the OEM weight, the factory wheel on the front weighs 25 pounds. A BC forged wheel weighs 18 pounds. On the rear, going with the same 20 inch wheel, same width, the OEM is 31 pounds and your BC forged is 22 pounds. So you're gaining a lot of weight loss and rotational mass there by upgrading to a set of the BC Forged wheels. Tons of cool designs, tons of cool colors. Uh, we're super knowledgeable here about them. So if you wanna give a call or an email, we can help you pick out the right size, uh, right offset and get a set going for you. Check out all the options, all the colors. So this isn't a new product, but I wanted to cover this because it was something we experienced at the track. Uh, a couple months ago, we were in New Orleans at uh, NOLA uh, Motorsports Park there. We were tracking our C8, and this is, this is our lift pucks. This is kind of a test to why um, people put these on their cars. Our lift pucks are, are really popular. They're uh, engineered to fit the C8 um, by the correct height and thickness and, and material to absorb um, impacts for example. So what we've got here is we have we're looking at the inside of our track wheel This is a TE 37. This is a forged wheel uh, Nola Motorsports I dropped the uh, driver rear off the track 
right at the edge where there was a rut. So and that rut was deeper than what the uh, height of the car, I guess, is the best way to describe. So the car dropped down in there, hit the, basically the chassis hit the track and pop back out of this rut. And what you see here is the puck. Uh, and that puck took all of the hit of that track incident, we'll call, since I don't know what I'm doing and I went off there. That puck held up, the puck protected the chassis of the car uh, and didn't cause any damage to any of the rockers or anything like that. So uh, another good thing for you track guys to have is, is this puck. Um, because we all make mistakes, we all have an incident, uh, we don't intend to have them, and uh, this can save uh, a lot of damage to your vehicle. So, something to think about, and uh, I know I mentioned earlier that I don't curb wheels in here, I just curb this wheel, so there's that. Well, that's it guys, that's New Products January. Uh, we had a few more items that didn't make the cut, and they'll make February, so. Be on the lookout for February. I'm not gonna take that month off like I did December. And we're out of here for now. If you have any questions or comments, please call, give us a call or email us, or you can comment down below and we'll get back to you. Thanks again. Oh, good, my phone's ringing from Canada. See, this is what I do. I'm gonna answer a customer's call now. This is Jeremy.